finding a confidence interval on your Casio calculator is pretty easy. You just need to keep your wits about you. Uh, let's jump straight into it. So we've got stats mode here. Now, your screen should look like this. If it doesn't, just press exit until it does. And then you're looking for here, interval. Let's click interval. Uh, we want a Z interval and we want this one, proportion. Okay, now let's start reading this question. Calculate and compare 90%, 95% and 99% confidence intervals. So let's do the 90% uh, confidence interval first. So going back into my calculator, 90% confidence interval. Now, what about the X and the N? What does that represent? Well, N is sample size. So let's fill that in first, 200. Now, what is X? Now, X is the number of people in your sample size who, in this case, uh, use social media. Now, I don't have a number. I only have a proportion. So if the question gives you a proportion but not a number, you're going to have to figure out the number. Now, if the sample proportion is 0.7, that's 70% of 200. So here I can just put 0.7 times 200 uh, and that'll give me 140. There were 140 people in my sample who said that they use social media. Okay, um, from here we just click execute and we get these numbers here. It means that I am 90% confident that the population proportion is between 64.67% and 75.33%. Now I want to do the 95% and the 99% confidence intervals as well. So if I go in here, I've got 0.95. The sample is still the same and the proportion in the sample is still the same. Uh, and so that will give me these numbers. And of course, now I can do my 99% confidence interval just by changing our confidence level there. All right, so that's how we can use our calculator to quickly calculate confidence intervals. And it's probably worth noting here that in this question, you can see as we try to increase our confidence, we are... Um, increasing the the bounds so to be 99 percent confident we're going all the way between uh 61.6 percent and 78.3 percent if we only want to be 90 percent confident it's a smaller bound it's between 64.6 and 75 percent uh, but this video is really just about using that calculator make sure that you go through the steps because i don't believe it's very intuitive so you really want to make sure that you can answer any question either using your formula or using your calculator.